Ah. Hello, everyone. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Gerbo. Oh, there's John Lodowski. How you doing, John? Hey, good. Tired. I'm tired, but that's only because I've been kicking a cold butt the last couple of days. Nah, I walked six miles today. Good. You need the exercise. I do <laughs> need the exercise. <laughs> that is good. We are all doing good. I, I shoveled snow today. <laughs> <laughs> well, having a cold about the... <laughs> yeah. And then I looked at what I was doing and I realized I'm like, I've been so sick. I haven't changed clothes in like two days, but I've been keep like, I've been like the shower every hour and a half. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to clear the airways. It's that, um, so basically I'm allergic to dust. And anytime my nose runs, it causes a congestion head cold. And that's what happened to me. What happened to my kids? I have no clue, but I know at least what happened to me. And my house has been closed down because of the cold for the last couple of weeks. So yep. uh, plus no fresh air equals me not really going anywhere because we've been on the road and on a break for five days. I, I mean, the last place I went was the wave game on Sunday, I think it was. No, Friday, Friday. I went to the wave game on Friday. That was it. I haven't really done a whole lot. So this weekend, I'm busy as all hell. I got an Admirals game Friday, Admirals game Saturday, wave game Sunday, Admirals game Tuesday. Um, we have this thing that me and you were supposed to be at on Thursday, Admirals game, Friday and Saturday. All right. So we're busy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm busy. <laughs> but all right, enough of our uh, bantering and giving y'all an update on us since we have we felt like it feels like it's been like four days since we did a video, but it's really only been two. All right. It feel like, well, then again, taking that one day off, it didn't help. Right. Me, but we had to. I was I was feeling horrible. John even saw it. He goes, you look like, well, crap. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's be honest. He, 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 that's what you said. Yeah. So he's like, oh, man, you look horrible. So, yeah, it, it was there. So, all righty. So today the Preds took on the New Jersey Devils. The New Jersey Devils are the best road team in the league. Yep. So, <laughs> we knew we were in for a battle. Right. But the Preds are one of the better home teams in the league. Yep. So, it was an even strength battle, and let's jump into it. All right, so shots on goal. In the first period, Nashville outshot New Jersey 22-8. to eight. In the second period, both teams had 10 shots. In the third period, New Jersey outshot Nashville 21-9. And in total, Nashville outshot New Jersey 41-39. to 39. In the face-off circle, the Devils were better at 59% to the Predators 42%. On the power play, the Devils went 0 for 2, while the Predators went 1 for 2. Both teams had four penalty minutes. The Predators had 29 hits. The Devils had 19 hits. The Predators had 17 blocks. The Devils 15. The Predators had 14 giveaways. The Devils had 10. In that giveaways, I think most of those came in the second. They kind of had a lackluster second. Right. It wasn't horrid. But I use the word lackluster. Yeah, for sure. It was even at at best, I would say. Right. All right. So scoring in the first was Jesper Bratt. Uh, his nineteenth was an assist from Dougie Hamilton. His thirtieth. That was at the ten nineteen mark. Then Cody Glass scores with his seventh with an assist from Novak. His seventh. And Yusuf Parson in his fifteenth. Good God, I feel like I'm talking about all former. Oh wait, I am. <laughs> that was scored on the power play at the 12-24 mark. Then a goal scored by Igor Shagarovic. Shagarovic. His 11th with an assist from Jack Hughes, his 31st. Then goal scorer Cole Smith, his second in the season. Second of the season, second in two games. Yeah, uh, with an assist from Parson in his second, and Sissons his 
Well, Parson in his second of the game, his 16th on the season, and Sisson's 10th. Then the second period, Jack Hughes scores. He gets his 31st of the season. This is by Zetterland is 10th and Hamilton his 31st. Then Mikhail Granlund scores his sixth of the year, assisted by Johansson, his 14th. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> then in the third, it's Matt Duchesne with his 14th, with a assist from Roman Yossi, his 29th. Then Phil Forsberg scores his 19th with an assist from Matt Duchesne, his 24th. Then it looked like New Jersey was going to bounce back a little bit with Dawson Mercer scoring his 11th with an assist from Hamilton, his 32nd, and Plot his 4th. Then Tanner Janot with his 5th and 2nd in two games with Colton Sissons with his 11th assist in 2nd of the game. Ferries the 6th goal of the game. Preds win 6 to 4. Now, <coughs> when we talk about this a little bit, the Preds play better on the physical side, but they don't have the speed to keep up with teams like the Devils. And you right. got blatantly obvious on the amount of two-on-ones that they were giving up. Yeah. And there were certain moments where I wanted to like yell at Echo because I saw Echo out there almost every time. Right. But then I don't know who Echo's partner is, so that that's like uh, it's just Echo. That's all I see is Echo. <clears throat> so somebody was dropping the ball. I don't know who it was, but somebody dropped the ball. You know, so this is this is one of those situations. So speaking of Echo, on the crap list, it's Echo all by himself. Minus three. Sorry, buddy, I gotta do it. Anyway, in that for the Preds was UC Stardos. I mean Saros. Stardos because he starts every game almost. Uh, 35 and 19 on the same, or 35 and net th out of 39 with a 0.897. So just under 900, just under. McKenzie Blackwood stops 35 of 40 with a 0.875, so not much worse. Um, Three stars of the game are Cole Smith is the third star of the game, Yusuf with a goal. Yusuf Parsonen with two assists and Matt Dershane with a goal and an assist. Coming up, the Admirals take on the Rockford Icehogs tomorrow and the Grand Rapids Griffins on Saturday. If you're looking for something to do in the Milwaukee area, come on out this weekend. As well, if you have nothing on your Sunday, come on and join me. I will be at the Milwaukee Wave game cheering them on as they are first in their division. Always support your local sports teams. It does help your local economy. I do so. It helps. I go to Brewers, Admirals, and Wave, and I plan on going to a Milkman game this year. I've been putting off. I'm done procrastinating. <laughs> um, only reason I didn't put the box in is the basketball's not my thing. John knows that. He's known me for many years. Basketball. Yeah. And my thing, I play. I like playing it, but watching it, just I'd rather play. That's just how I am. I feel that way about hockey too, but I can't play no more. Body got too banged up. Got a little reckless in my young age. Um, but like I said, upcoming these two games. Well, how crucial are these games? Well, let's talk about that. Because I'm coming for the Admirals, they are crucial, as the Iowa Wild have now crept within one point. The Admirals do have a game in hand against them, but Rockford's two points back. You cannot let them come in there, into our house. We will not let them come into our house and push us around. <laughs> uh, and then we got Grand Rapids. Um, they are 15-19, uh, 15-19, uh, 15 2-2 two two on the season. Um, they are 2-0, 1-1 in their, in the, on their current streak. The Admirals are 1-0-1. Oh, 
Um, Rockford is 0-4-1 in their last in their streak as well, as well as being 3-5 and uh, this is not cool. Thank them. I hate how they do this. All right. They are 3-5-2 and two in their last 10. Uh, Grand Rapids is 4-3-1-2 and one and two in their last 10. Uh, Grand Rapids has a pretty steady roster as they have uh, Nadalkovic, I think, and Verana on that team. Two guys who would be on any NHL roster had they not had the cap hit that they have. That's part of that whole, I can't wait for this, the salary cap to be fixed. Right. <laughs> In transactions, Kevin Graval was called up as earlier announced this morning. Nashville Predators defenseman Alexander Carrier will be out for four to six weeks with an upper body injury. Probably mostly in part to do with his bout with uh, Logan Stanley. Um, as far as I'm concerned on that one, um, I give him kudos, but we really don't need you getting hurt, so please don't do it again. <laughs> uh -huh. um, you know, uh, that's coming down the stretch, getting him back in, in, in that time. We're going to need him coming in that time. Right. And we're going to need him at the top of this game. We also, I think we need Borrow back. I really do. Yeah, I do too. I think we need that grit on the defense. I know Lazan's good, but he can't do it by himself every night. Right. And Janelle can't do it every night. And Trenton can't do it every night. You know? Yep. So, so that's kind of one of those situations. Well, since we're at it, let's take a look around the league. Currently, the Ducks are beating Colorado 4-3. to three. Um, With 7-19 left in the game. This is as of recording. Uh, Chicago is beating Calgary 4-1. to one. Arizona is beating St. Louis 5-0. Yikes. <laughs> St. Louis beat Boston in regulation. Or not St. Louis. Tampa Bay beat Boston in regulation. Wow. Yeah. Boston lost in regulation. Uh, Detroit wins in overtime over Montreal. Washington wins in a shootout against uh, Pittsburgh. If I would make a recommendation, go check out if getting Kuznetsov. Um uh, shootout goal, it's very Ryan Johansson-esque. Controller disconnect activated. <laughs> um, Buffalo beats Winnipeg 3-2 in regulation. Uh, Minnesota beats Philly 3-2 in overtime. So what's that do for the standings? Obviously, we have to keep an eye on this from this point on, pretty much. Right. Uh, All-Star Games this weekend. Uh, we'll see John very soon. <laughs> uh -huh. I think the skills competition Sunday and the uh, All-Star Game is Monday. Our Admiral skills, or the AHL skills competition is Monday. And the AHL All-Star Game is on Tuesday. Wait. Or is that next week? I think that's next week. What is the uh, All Star Game here? Let's take a look here. Just because you know me, I don't want to make no mistakes here. All right. Okay, so the skills uh, the, that's the second through fourth. So it's two days. Second, third, and fourth. So the second is a fan media day. Third is the skills competition. That'll be on ESPN. And the all-star game will be on ABC, CBC, ESPN, ESPN Plus. Or sorry, ABC, ESPN Plus, CBC, SN, and TVAS. 
of the skills competition is solely on ESPN. So John technically doesn't have to come over. However, I think that day me and John... John, are you going to the game on the third? No. Okay. Duly noted. Didn't know. Better to ask. Right. Uh, so, better to ask than not know. <laughs> Just make assumptions. Um, you know, uh, I know that being an all-star isn't what it used to be. Back when they, it was five on five, the best guys in the league got in. It wasn't division versus division versus division versus division. It that to me is dope. You pick the best players in the NHL and you go for it, and you hope to have at least one guy from every team. Or you at least make that rule. You set up a 23-man roster on each side. There's 32 teams in the league. It shouldn't be that hard to pull off. Right. I'm, I'm sorry. Please just go back to the old all-star game format. If I not agree. That, if not that, at least do splits. Like, I understand it's split squad now, but... Split squad, two eight all star games, one <coughs> of the top all stars, one of the bottom all stars. Each team plays each other, and the last two teams play each other for a, a, an amount towards a charity or something. Right. You know, and then the MVP gets an amount towards his charity. And it's just a thought process I got here. So, uh, you know, I, I wanted to bring that to your attention because I, I thought about that a lot. Um, all righty. So when we come back with the Admirals at the beginning of the month, we have our illustrious in the system coming yep. next weekend as well. So we're open to do that as well. And, uh, Hoping to get all that done and get moving on and keep moving forward. Um, as everyone knows, I'm, I'm hoping to have this at least cleared up for tomorrow. And if not, I'll see y'all Saturday. If not, I'll be at the Wave Game Sunday. If not, I'll see y'all when I Tuesday. If not, I'll see you when I see you. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm not going to come around and say not feeling 100%. I, I right. can maybe. But I think I'll be all right. I just got to get rid of this allergy thing. Yeah. Because that's all that's bothering me right now. I don't have a fever. I have no temperature. I have no none of these other additional problems. It's just sinuses. Right. I'm allergic to stuffy dust. Which is my way of saying I'm allergic to a stuffy house with dust in it. <laughs> so, other than that, we've got a lot coming for you in the month of February and in March and in April. Speaking of April, all you Admirals Wrestling fans, AEW is coming to the Panther Arena April 12th. Tickets go on sale February 10th. Ah, cheap plug. Thank you, AEW. Uh -huh. AEW. <laughs> I've been to all their shows in Milwaukee so far. They have not disappointed. It's been amazing. Uh, the first time there was right after CM Punk came back, and I got to see him. And then the last time, it was right before uh, Forbidden Door and Kazuchika Okada came from Japan to make his AEW debut right here in Milwaukee, in North America. On, on national television. That's pretty cool. So, um, if you don't know, Kazuchika Okada won uh, PWI's Wrestler of the Year, if you're not a wrestling fan. Shout out to Ultimate Fighter. See y'all. And by the way, I don't mean like that type. Of thing. Just look him up on Twitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. Shout out to Ultimate Fighter and those guys over there. They do a great job. See y'all.